If you've been wondering how to use AI with your podcast, you are in luck. I have some really cool features that I cannot wait to share with you about Buzzsprout's brand new co-host AI integration and what it means for your podcast. So let's get right to it. Hey there, Crystal here today. And like I said in the beginning, we are talking about Buzzsprout's brand new feature, Co-host AI. Now, I wanna go through exactly what this tool is, and then I'm gonna give you a demonstration on my shows on how I've been using it and why I think it's so fantastic for your show. So let's hop over to Buzzsprout. So the first thing that you see here is Buzzsprout announcing that co-host AI is officially here. And I think it's super cool that they go through, you know, sharing these things with their audience. It's one of the reasons why I love Buzzsprout. I've used them since 2018 when I started my podcasting journey. You can go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Buzzsprout. I'm a proud partner and affiliate for them. And I think that everyone should check them out. But this was just a a, um, a quick, you know, announcement that they made. And what I love here is it says it joins other initiatives from Buzzsprout like Magic Mastering, Dynamic Content, Automatic File Optimization, and the Smart Insertion Point Finder that helps podcasters focus on what they do best, creating great podcasts. So co-host AI is just like it sounds. It's something that's gonna help you be a better podcaster. It's your co-pilot, your co-host to help you do all the things in your podcasting journey. But let's go into the details and I wanna show you exactly how I've been using it with my podcast. So uh, here's this help article from Buzzsprout, but it goes into what co-host AI actually is. It's a tool to give you ability to use AI to build out the details of your episodes. If it takes you 20, 30 minutes to create your podcast content and you wanna narrow that down to seconds, Stick with me because this is the tool to help you do that. So we've built Co-host AI into Buzzsprout to make your upload process easier and more streamlined, allowing you to focus more on your episode content. So what is included, right? If you're like, well, what does this AI actually do? Well, it's gonna help you draft episode title ideas, draft an episode description. It's gonna give you chapter markers, which is super fun and something I personally hate doing, so I love that it does this for you. And it's gonna transcribe your episode. So if you're paying another tool to do the transcriptions for your audio, then let Buzzsprout do that. If you're already paying them to host your stuff, like let them do some of these other tasks that may be a headache for you if you don't enjoy some of these other tasks or it just takes you a long time. For me personally, it takes a lot to create an episode title that is really good and that I'm really proud of. And this cuts that time from minutes, 30 minutes, half an hour, in two seconds, and it's so fun. So let's go down and talk about how does it actually work. So what it does is you take your audio file and you upload it into Buzzsprout just like you would any other piece of content that you're wanting to publish for your podcast. And then you're gonna see this screen that says co-host AI is processing. So this could take a few minutes. I do encourage you to adjust your schedule for podcasting. Like don't expect to just upload a file and it be published with all the fancy things in a matter of minutes. You wanna make sure that you have the right lead time. I don't know if it matters if you have a fast internet connection or not. I'm not the technical one to answer those questions. That's Buzzsprout. But I will say that typically once I upload something, it takes just a few minutes to actually process everything and have the co-host AI results spit out on the other end. Now this is what it looks like. So there is a summary button whenever you get into an episode. And like I said, I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of my podcast so you can actually see what this looks like. But it says all the things that co-host AI has created for an individual episode. You can see there's episode titles, a description, episode chapters, and a transcript. Um, you know, here's the details. Again, I'm gonna show you this example. Let's go down, let's go down. I'm gonna show you all this live. 
This is the thing that I know you're wondering. So as of me recording this video, people are like, well, how much does it cost? Is it free? Do I get it automatically if I have a paid plan? And this is the breakdown structure of what it is today. So Cohost AI is an optional add-on feature for any paid plan in Buzzsprout. So if you have a free account, you're not gonna be able to use these, but if you have a paid plan, depending on which um, plan structure that you're using for your podcast, it could be an extra $10, $20, or $30 a month, but it's likely that you're already paying another tool to do this for you elsewhere. So I'm gonna encourage you to move that over to Buzzsprout and have all of these things in one place, especially if you already use a tool like Magic Mastering and you're already utilizing the amazing features of Buzzsprout. I'm just gonna encourage you like one-stop shop, have it all, you know, hit your debit card at the same time and you're good to go. Now, if you have any questions, like it says here, did we miss anything? Reach out for specific questions to the Buzzsprout community. They have a fantastic Facebook group. I'll link to it in the video description, but they also have a fantastic support community where you can reach out and they can answer your questions. But I wanna go into, like I said, the behind the scenes in my content to show you what this is look like for my show. So let's go to the Profit Podcast first. Okay, so as of me recording this video, I'm in the middle of doing some batching. And so I have two episodes that are already uploaded and they haven't been published yet. So this is what it looks like behind the scenes, these two episodes. And I wanna show you exactly what co-host AI created for me. And then I'll actually upload an episode and show you what that looks like in the process. So these, this is like the finished product after it's already gone through the co-host AI process. So let's go into this one. So this was actually an interview episode. And as you can see here, it has this little marker that says co-host, just like my magic mastering here. And if I had dynamic content inserted into this episode, you would also see that little marker up here at the top. But currently I don't have my dynamic content or podcast ads turned on for this specific episode. Now let's go into, um, so what I was talking about is there's this co-host AI summary. This is everything that co-host AI created for me, but it's gonna show you the version that it created and not the final version. So what you see here, this is the final version. I went in and I edited a few things. I adjusted some of the grammar and some of the language to really sound like my voice, but I wanna show you just what it created and then we can go back and do a comparison. You can see the difference of what is actually published. So let's go into co-host AI summary. And like I said, look at this. How cool is this? All I did was upload an audio file. Like, let this sink in for a second. I was actually a beta tester. With, I'm a Buzzsprout creator. Like I said, I've been with Buzzsprout forever. I was a beta tester. And when I was looking at this, I was like, so you're telling me all I have to do is upload my audio file and it spits out all of this? I said, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? And so this is why I'm so excited about it. I know everybody's excited about AI and you know how they can use it to their advantage. But what I love about this is, I didn't have to do anything. I literally didn't have to do anything outside of my normal processes. I didn't have to do something super technical. I didn't have to learn how to talk to ChatGPT. I didn't have to learn how to do any of that. All I did was upload an audio file, which I already do in my podcast process. And once it was, you know, done with all the magical things that co-host AI does on the back end, this is what it gave me. So it gave me five episode titles. So breaking free from expectations, redefining success with unapologetic entrepreneur, Amanda McKinney. <laughs> so Amanda, if you're watching this, I know they totally did. It didn't get your name right. Her name is Amanda McKinney. So again, it's not perfect. You're gonna have to do some tweaking. You're gonna have to read through the episode description. My name is always misspelled because it's Crystal with the K and it's Profit with two Fs and two Ts. And so I do always have to go through and do a control find and change my name or change my guest name and look at my last name to make sure it's spelled properly. But other than that, there wasn't a ton that I needed to change. But let's go down. Um, There's some other great titles. Her Secrets to Unapologetically Pursuing Your Dreams, Creating Abundance on Your Terms with Amanda McKinney, <laughs> From Tech Meltdowns to Triumph. So all of these titles were taken from the transcript. 
So again, the best route team can tell you all the technical reasons and know-hows and potions and all the things that they did to actually produce these titles. But this is from our conversation. This was an interview and this was taken directly from my conversation with Amanda and it's very on point. These are all the key takeaways that we had discussed in this interview. So again, I'm like, I know I'm being super nerdy about it, but it's, it's I'm super impressed, very impressed. All right, let's move on to the episode description. So again, this was all taken from the audio file, from the transcript, and it's not bad. I didn't change it. It's not too far off the finished product. So if you want to like take a screenshot and do a comparison of this episode description versus what is live on my podcast, it's pretty dang close. It is pretty close. I cleaned up a little bit of the grammar and again, changed it to be a little bit more in my voice, but it was pretty close. Then you have your episode chapters. So this again is something that I don't use typically, like previous, like if you go back several episodes of my podcast, I didn't do these a lot. This is because I'm lazy. Can I say that? Can I say that on here? Like, I just, I didn't do it. It wasn't something I did. It was like, oh, it's one more thing in the process. Is it gonna have a big ROI, like a return from the time that's gonna take for me to do that? Maybe not. So I wasn't really doing it. This is already done for me. All I have to do is update her name and maybe change a little bit more of like the cadence or changing some of the chapter markers. But I love that this is done for me. And then the other thing, of course, is the transcript. So let me actually go into editing the transcript. So as you can see here, I did update this, but it defaulted to speaker one and speaker two. And it was pretty on point. Like it was very clearly my voice and then her voice as I was reading through the transcript. And so I'm just, yeah, again, you can export this, like do a copy and paste and like put it on your blog post or whatever else you wanna do with it. But if you're using a transcript service now, you could just you could just use this on Buzzsprout. Now, let me take you back. Okay, so this is everything that you see. So like I said, we have this here, we have the actual transcript if you're in the back end of Buzzsprout. And then of course you have your chapter markers, which again, I said, I previously didn't do these, but now they're there. Now they're there and they're, um, I have to go back and update this one that McKinney, Macindy, I don't even know how you would say that, but um, it's McKinney. <laughs> and so that's what it looks like for the Profit Podcast. Let me take you over real quick to the Potty Report. This is my daily podcast and it's much shorter. As you can tell, this is a 43 minute episode. So if you're like, Crystal, I do a daily podcast that's five minutes or less. Well, awesome, I do too. Let me show you what the potty report looks like because it's a little bit different because the episodes are shorter, but it's just as good. It is just as good. So let's go over there. Okay, so this is actually one, well here, we'll just go into this one. This one aired today as of me recording this. So breaking down a bad pitch, tips for better podcast outreach. So I went on a rant in this episode about bad podcast pitches that I get. It's probably content that I need to create here and share more of, but let's go in and see what co-host AI created for me. Um, again, all I had to do was upload the audio file and it spit out all of this. So here are my options for titles, mastering the art of podcast pitches, learning from a terrible example and securing guest spots. That didn't really sound like it was spot on for this. Plus it was really long. Typically the episode titles for this or for these episodes aren't really long for me. So I thought, no, that's probably a little too much. Unlocking the secrets to winning podcast guest spots. That wasn't the gist or the overall theme of the episode. I touched on it, but it was really highlighting a bad pitch. And that's why I picked number three, breaking down a bad pitch. Tips for better podcast outreach. And then some of these other ones would have been okay, but number three was clearly the winner. And honestly, as the more I keep using this, I will see a kind of a combination of like maybe number one and number four, and I'll change it and adapt it to combine those together. But I didn't have to do a lot of thinking. Previously, this would take me a really long time. And if you're concentrating on SEO for your podcast, 
it kind of gives you some of the best options from the beginning, or it at least sets you up to have a great title or even a mediocre title. And then you can add your SEO elements to it. And at least you're not starting from scratch. That is the best piece of this. You are not starting from scratch. All right. And then it has a great episode description. Again, it's a little bit shorter, but that's because this episode is five minutes. I mean, it would, it would take you longer to read a super long description than it would to listen to the entire episode. Um, it didn't display any episode chapters simply because it's five minutes or less. I'm not sure what the cutoff is for that, but um, like if there's a specific link that it has to be for episode chapters, but I don't have it on this podcast because it's five minutes or less. And then the transcript. So this is what I was talking about. It defaults to speaker one. And thankfully, it doesn't say like speaker two because that'd be kind of weird, right? <laughs> because it was just me. It wasn't anybody else. But I want to show you here. So it has my name um, with a C. So I will go in and do a control find and update all of those. Um, I have noticed that sometimes it won't capitalize the I's whenever I say them. I kind of have a little bit of an accent too sometimes. So maybe it's like gets confused because like this I is capitalized, but that one isn't. But these are little tweaks that I'm not worried about. Like that's not a deal breaker for me. I have the same thing happen in other transcript tools. So I'm not really that worried about it. And if you can see all these like red highlights, I also use Grammarly in my content. I think that this is such a fantastic tool that everybody should use in all of their content. But with a combination of what Cohost AI produces and Grammarly, it literally takes me so much less time to create episode titles, episode descriptions, do the transcript, and I'm all working within one platform. I think this is the beauty of it for me. Like I said, I'm not uploading my episode here and then uploading it here and making sure that all the things are talking together and everything's, no, it's one place. It's an audio process that I was already doing. I was uploading an audio file and now it's just giving me all these extra added tools and features and I am here for it. So again, go to crystalprofit.com forward slash buzzsprout if you're not already a user. And if you are a buzzsprout user, I want you to tell me in the comments below, what is the thing that you have loved so much about co-host AI or any other questions. If you wanna see videos or a deep dive on this feature, let me know in the comments below. But that's all I have for you today. So make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe below so you don't miss our other videos about content strategy and podcast coaching. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.